Um, yeah, we were in the gated off area in Platt Fields and Amy fell in some dog mess and then wiped her eye before I could get to her. And um, 48 hours afterwards, Amy's eye in the middle of the night had swollen shut and was very, very like a black purple colour. And I put two and two together and took her straight to A&E. Um, where doctors did eye swabs and confirmed she had orbital lobe cellulosis and toxocariasis from the dog mess. Um, she was incredibly poorly um, in hospital. Um, the doctors weren't sure whether she was going to lose her eye or not. Um, it was a case of waiting to see whether um, the antibiotics were kicking in time before the infection hit her optical nerve. And if it didn't, then they were going to have to take her eye to try and save her. And luckily, the antibiotics kicked in, but it has affected her sight permanently. So, what you say it's affected her sight permanently, what does that mean for Amy? Well, she's 75% blind in her left eye now, which means later on in life she won't be able to drive. Um, you know, it's going to affect her everyday life for the rest, rest of her life, really. And what would you say to the person that left the dog poo in the park? Look what you've done. The simple act of picking up after your own animal, you have affected my daughter's life for the rest of her life. And what would you say to dog owners in general who don't pick up after their dogs? You need to act responsibly because this is a very real consequence of your inaction of doing what you should do. And all you have to do is pick it up and put it in the bin. And all of this could have been avoided 